Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. This is day number 14, game number 14. My 30 games in 30 days challenge where I'm playing old games, new games, silly games, serious games. Uh, Far Lone Sales fits the uh, probably more serious end and the newer end. It just was released recently. And uh, it's basically described as a vehicle adventure game. We have this like kind of steampunk-esque vehicle that we're traveling across this giant dried out ocean and it is a post-apocalyptic world but there's no monsters or anything like that it's more about um how to maintain and upgrade our vehicle to overcome different hazards and obstacles we might run into so uh, i'm kind of interested to see how that plays out i feel like it's going to be one of those games that's like very artsy very um very quiet and very deliberate if that makes sense so Let's head out there. It's our machine versus the big nothing, as they describe it. So, this is Far Alone Sales. Yeah, okay, definitely artsy. Uh, all the muted tones and, like, the little pop of red. I like that a lot. This must be some type of... Maybe this is, like, a memorial. If that, like, could be, like, a father. Potentially. We can go left, right, jump. We got zoom in and out, I guess. Oops. Pick things up. Big turbine on the side of the house. Oh, cool. Red flag up top. The carriage underneath. Big button. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I guess we'll keep this here until we have another reason to use it. This turns light on and off. Adjusted the stairs a little bit. There's a little attic room up at the top, it looks like. Some drawing in the background there. These two people. This must be where we stay. Showing us how to zoom in now. I don't know if we need to do anything with the stuff that we're picking up, but let's keep exploring. And let's see. There is a little town in the background, so not as desolate as I was kind of anticipating. It feels quite peaceful, but I imagine it's not going to stay like this for too long. Okay, we have wildlife. On these rocks, I'm noticing... This looks like a depiction of the area, I guess. Like boat, water. Bunch of boats. Look at this. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Kind of gives me like a limbo vibe, but, you know, slightly less dark. Sun, mountains, or hills, more water. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What do we got going on here? So, okay, so we've got all these, like, push buttons. We saw at the house the push buttons kind of operated, or started it. Oh, cool. So this is more of like a viewing deck, I guess. What do we have on this side? What do you like float down? Nice. Okay, so this moves the rotor. So I guess this is kind of the thing where we're going to figure out how this all works. So how can I get this middle section open? It's the first question. All right, so that's pushing into that energy pool. 
I don't know if I... Wait, hold on. I see this box up on this one, but I can take it. I don't know if that does anything for us. Oh, just like that. Well, we're cruising. And if we want to stop it, we push this one. Okay, cool. So you figure out, like, how to even maneuver this thing. That counter on the right has started now. We have a steam. We're going to have to, like, deep press, push out all this steam. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Okay, so these little things are used for energy. I gotcha. Let's get going. Lock it in. There we go. This was probably... Do I have to keep hitting this? I guess we'll see. Or maybe only when I let off the steam. Because otherwise it'd be cool to go up top. The steam does kind of like push us forward a little bit. So it's like between these two we can get our vehicle going. See, then we get that little boost again. But without that, those other boxes for fuel, I'm not sure how far we'll get here. Oh, there we go. Can we stop? Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Let's grab this stuff along the way. Can I carry multiple? No. I'm interested to see where else they take this. Beyond just operating the machine to find these things. I really love the style though, like this kind of like steampunky, but like whimsical. Like, art style? It's like right up my alley. Let's just store these all. Over here for now. I'm hoping that there's a way that we can kind of automate the movement. Because it, it looks like... We should be able to stand up top and, uh, and do things from there. Just, like, hang out. Now, do I have to push this again? Okay, so that brings up, like, this emergency brake, basically. This rotates that front thing, which maybe can hook onto stuff at some point. I'm just seeing... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to cruise across here. All right. Neat. What a cool looking, I don't even know what we call this, <laughs> vehicle like, vehicle of some sort. Yes, yeah, so let's throw in two of these. And let's carry on. Okay, so when Steam's building like this, it seems like maybe that's what's triggering this to stop. So I might just have to depress the steam a little earlier. Like if I do this. Yeah, so I think, oh no, it does stop it. Keep chugging, keep chugging. 
may need a good push up here. All right, let's grab these boxes. Oh, wait, what was that? Hold on. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can actually... Whoa, 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 whoa. We can pull this thing? <laughs> Let's put this back on. So what's on this side? Same, same idea. So we can hook these on to stuff for whatever reason. So there are going to be some kind of puzzles out there that... We're going to need to utilize those four, I'm sure. Okay, I don't want to throw in too many at once here. Let's just get these all nearby. Alright, there we go. Cue the music! Or don't. Now there's also, I'm noticing, let me check up here while this is happening. Okay. So we might have to put out some fires or something. Maybe if this, if we don't address the steam. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hard stop, what do we have here? What is this giant barrel? Maybe this is, uh... Like, just a larger amount of energy. Oh, you can also see your energy reserve from the outside. That's cool. The design of this vehicle is awesome, actually. Like, really creative. Oh, and if we drop them on the hook... Alright. So we can store these in other places if we need to. Looks like the hook will hold on to them. I know we pulled one off of there earlier, but... All right. You can like feel the weight of the vehicle when you're on an incline too. I feel like they've got that really well done. Come on now. And I guess all that counter is doing is telling us, like, how far we've traveled. I want to check out this room here. Nothing we can really interact with. Wait, what is this? Uh, okay, we have a light that we can move around. That's cool. Now, there's a little buoy in the background there. Not sure if that's important. Let's grab this. Oh, I like that it just opens up for us. What is this thing behind us here? Oh, hello. 
some type of crane operation. There's another button like at the top of it, so maybe we should maybe we should stop here. And let's see if I can actually. Can I actually hop up there? Not as far as I can tell. There's got to be a way. Whoa. Ah, okay, that just came down. Yeah, okay. So this is where some of like the... I don't know if puzzle is the right word. Let's bring this in here and see if we ever need that. There we go. Okay. So this will lower. We should be able to jump on there. We'll see what that button does. Maybe we need to remove the, um... Well, I'm, like, not sure... Wait, what? Oh, did we just permanently mod this thing? So that we could, uh... Oh, it's like a, it's sails. Yeah. Oh, cool. Now we don't need to rely on the energy full time, maybe? Oh, we could go super fast, I'm guessing. Wow, cool. So it'd be interesting to see if we can like mod this thing further going forward. Thought most of the improvements would be like internal, maybe not a huge deal. Old lighthouse in the background. Look how cool this looks, man. This is neat. It's a little bit slow, but I think like I think that's how it's supposed to be. Nothing wrong with that. So we may want to, like, we might be in situations where we want to reserve the amount of energy that we're using. Old, like, school bus in the background there. I'm gonna see if, if I can put this barrel in here and see what happens. Oh yeah, it works. Oh, that's chaos, okay, yeah. so it's a full one. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Yikes. All right, all right. We have a hazard. We have a hazard. Now, as far as I can tell, we don't have a way of going backwards, right? Let me see if we can get over top of this. We can ret retract the sails? Yeah, nice. We want to try and push through this? No. We're just wasting energy. Doesn't appear to be able to hook that to anything. Let's see what's back here. 
Actually, we can... We did figure out earlier that we can pull this thing, so let's... Oh. Never mind. What do we have here? Whoa. A bell. And see, like, these little trinkets and things that we're finding? Like, I don't know how important these are, but I feel like... Like, whatever this thing is, we'll grab and... We just keep them. Fill our place with, like... <laughs> random <laughs> trinkets and baubles. We have a bell, we have a light. We have whatever this thing could be. But more importantly, there's a switch for that propeller, which maybe we can attach that to this vehicle as well. Oh yeah. Okay, well we're definitely not attaching that anymore. <laughs> That's not happening. That is not happening. Uh, there are those other things underneath there. I'm gonna grab them. See, like, there's- there was, like, a full civilization here. So... Yes, it's probably been some time, but, like, you can see that... You know, the old building remnants are still there, and... It's not, like, completely empty. We saw the little bit of- we saw the bird. There's, like, vehicles laying around that are obviously not in use and super old, so... In terms of a timeline, you can see that, yeah, it's- there's devastation, but it's not, like, you know... Thousands of years, probably not even hundreds. But a little bit more recent. Uh, let's get our sails up. Nice. But I love when you zoom out, it's like, it's so quiet. When you get into the inner workings of your vehicle, it's like, very hectic, you know? That's cool. Okay, let's put some more fuel in here. I'm gonna try putting one of these in and just see what happens. Okay, so like anything that we find does work. Some things may give more or less energy. We've traveled 352 whatevers now. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, careful. Careful. We are not very delicate. <laughs> not quite. I'm looking for how we're gonna get past this. Uh, I do have a path underneath I might have to take there. Let's cruise this way, see if we can maybe operate something on the other side. It's connected to those wheels. Look at this! Super creative. Oh. This needs energy. Oh wait, this is raising. Okay, so it's raising the whole bridge. So wait a sec. Uh, me going underneath seems like a terrible idea. 
But maybe I can lower it enough for us to cross. No! Oh. Yes, just like I planned it. <laughs> just like we planned. Alright. Old motorbike there. Now, why is that thing... You see how it's, like, producing sparks? That worries me a little bit. I didn't notice it producing sparks before. And, like, hold on. Is our speed gauge all messed up? We also have these... Okay, so hold on. Something has changed. Uh... You see the, uh, those three meters to the right of the energy? There was two before, I'm pretty certain. I wonder if that's, like, uh, a representation of... Like, damage to certain sections? And if it is... How do we... Do I just put water on it, maybe? <laughs> Let's put water on the sparks to see what happens. No. Nothing. Huh. Weird. Okay, we'll have to figure that out as we go. Now, this thing does have the two lines up. And if we look at those, um... If we look at those meters... Yeah, so when that was added, it added those two lines up. The speed, you can see, uh, is the two lines horizontal, and it's now, I think it's damaged. And then the slant is the, uh, fuel thing. So this thing is gonna be slightly less effective for whatever reason. Maybe because we crashed, or maybe it just happens over time. But I'm sure there's a way to repair it. I just don't know what that is. Not yet, anyway. We'll let that one box go. I didn't notice it if it was going down gradually or not. I think... I can't tell if it's staying flat or if it's gradually decreasing. Okay, we're gonna grab these. I'm really intrigued by this, by the whole, like, having to repair things idea. Now, with the wind, it looks like it's coming in towards us, so I should maybe put the sails down? Or can I not? Yeah, there we go. I think it might be going down ever so slightly. Same with the diagonal, like every time we load fuel. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Maybe that little uh, bolt thing that we picked up. Could be useful for this. I'm gonna go grab it. Uh oh.
I wonder if I feed this. I highly doubt it, but let's see what happens. Nah, it's just straight energy again. Jeez. It's got the atmosphere nailed, though. It feels really cool. Like, it's a cool world that they've come up with, for sure. Whoops. keep pressing on. I'm sure at some point it'll teach us how to repair. Oh! Okay, so lightning. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, what is happening here? Oh. And now this thing is damaged. So let's not have the sails up in the storm. <laughs> let's not have the sails up in the storm. Let's not crash into things if we can avoid it. Because until we can figure out how to fix that stuff, it's going to be problematic. Okay, we're gonna have to stop for this fuel. Hold on. Our house and our vehicle is in shambles right now. Let me just go and investigate, see if there's anything I can do with these. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna see what happens with this bell. Maybe I shouldn't. Because <laughs> it could be useful. I don't know. I don't know. Now, even though these are slightly damaged, can I can I use them at all? Doesn't even I don't think so. I think it's completely broken. So we have to watch out for things like weather. I'm assuming we broke this when we smashed into that other thing at high speed. see what this place is. Let me just slide down here. I think I'm going to have to get closer. Let's just slide down here. Okay. Now can I... Oh, I can actually get on top of the sails. That'll work. Let's see if I need this for inside. Yeah, I do. 
This reminds me of the game Inside a little bit. Inside and Limbo and all that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, can I trust this thing to just... Oh, look, maybe a new engine. Being lowered. This is broken. Looks like this slot needs to open. Do I need to power this more? No, I think I need to head down. Somehow. Oh! Is this... That's... Oh, this is fixing stuff. So this is how we're going to fix our, our items here. Drop this down. We'll go and fix them right up. Nice. Now it's going to require uh, fuel and the like, I imagine. I like that it just carries on without us, like... Alright, let's get this sucker fixed right up. And then let's go up top. I can't tell if this is using energy. I think it is, yeah, it looks like the energy is being used. I think it's fixed. No, it's not. There we go. Cool. Very cool. Okay. We have a couple of different things. We have fire we can repair. Uh, we have those hooks and pulleys on the front side that we haven't used yet, but it seems like the general idea is we're going to constantly be finding these upgrades. Our thing will break down. We have to fix it. We need to keep the fuel going. We need to just get across this world and examine it and explore and see what's happening. Let's see if we can find, like, another destination here. I appreciate what it's doing, you know, like, as a game. I think, I think a lot of people are going to find it fairly slow, and I mean, it is slow, but that's what it, that's how, that's how it is. That's the, by design. And it's more about just like exploring this world and theorizing what could have possibly happened or what's left behind. I also think I probably could get away with, like, just letting the sails take us, and then using this when we need to go, like, uphill or whatever. You can see the speed does drop off pretty heavily. This is gonna hurt. Maybe not. We should grab that stuff, though. These big barrels. I wish we would have picked up that first one that we saw, but I was thinking, uh, like when we went into that last location, that first barrel that we saw would have been nice to have, but... I imagine it does a pretty good job of, like, pacing these all out. The thing that intrigues me the most is just like, what's next? You know, like, what's the next kind of contraption that we're going to run into?
And I think we found it. Sounds like there's static coming out of the speakers. Whoa. Okay, bye! <laughs> Like, the scenery is just beautiful, man. That's what it is. It's a beautiful game. Let's plan to take that back with us, maybe. So it looks like we're trying to maybe tune this to uh, get into that red thing. Yep. Nice. What is that actually? Oh, okay. Well, that opened it as well. Nice. And now we have a radio. Isn't that lovely? That's cool. Just like finding these little trinkets and baubles and that's it, man. We're just building our pad. Not a big deal. Not so lonely. We got tunes. I'm pretty sure between all of the repairs and just general maintenance of this thing, we'd feel anything but lonely. Probably overwhelmed. It's definitely not energy efficient, let me tell you. Probably the least energy efficient vehicle I've ever seen. Let's get those sails up. On the USS Loner. I love zooming out like this. Like, this is gorgeous, man. Like, that's a wallpaper right there. Let me see. This is like, this type of art style, this like whimsy. This is stuff that, this is the type of art that I would, that I personally would pay for, you know? Like, this is the kind of stuff I'd put on my wall. I love it. Sun's coming up. It's like old farm fields. Wait, are those? Yeah, see, there are animals still around. Uh oh. I wonder if, like, the farther we go, the less kind of desolate it feels. I kind of want to save this. I don't know. I probably don't need to, but... I don't know what's good and what's not. Now we're cooking with gas. How fast we're going. That was like an all-time speed record that we set there. The Blue Isles. Imagine we just run into like a gang that has... Everyone has their own little ship like this.
I love this idea of like, okay, I wonder what the next little structure is going to be. Hold on, let me, uh, what about my sails? Do I have to take these down? Uh, yeah. A little bit late. Yeah, so I think like crashing into stuff like that, um, the sails hitting that thing. Those are all the little aspects that we do have to manage and be careful with, because you can see that they did get damaged a bit. All right, let's go inside here. But it does seem like fuel is relatively plentiful. Uh, oh. Oh, well, look at this. Like, loads right up into this person's service garage. Very cool. Alright, so we have something that hooks on to stuff. Which I imagine... Okay, so that's... Doing something up top. Let's see what else is here. There's some energy. Let's go all the way up here and see what we find. Nothing. So we'll have to break through that other end, I think. But that there's a section up top, we gotta see what that does. Let's see if we can push through here. Oh, it's it's connected. It's connected. So wait, what is up there? And what do we want it, this thing to be hitting? Because on the same plane, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot, but maybe I need to go f forward a little bit more in that empty spot. No. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go up top here. I can probably pull that thing in towards me a little bit. This is awkward. You can't see anything. Can I push this? Ah, there we go. This is like the only opening that I can see. But like, what is that doing is the real question. I think I need to... Hold on. Okay, so that's pushing this out of the way. I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to actually push it forward right now. There's no way for me to climb this. If we look at the plane, like that whole um, section is blocked. And it's like, it looks like it's supposed to eject something almost. And there's no path for me through here. Let's push this forward again. Let's 
See what happens if I put my sails up in here? Nothing. I don't think this is broken. Oh, here. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Just got to stand on it a little bit. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now, what does this thing do? Oh, that'll like suck up all the stuff that we run over. So we don't have to get out anymore. Neat. So like, as we go along, things become more efficient. I like that. You're constantly building. It's really cool, actually. It's really cool. I feel like a lot of people are going to think that it's quite slow, and it is, but again, like, it's just a different style of game. It's an adventure. It's like, what else are you going to run into in this world of the unknown? And there seems to be these really cool contraptions. It's really beautifully uh, designed. It looks amazing. The way that you have to operate your vehicle is super cool. You find these little relics like this old uh, radio and if you get desperate you can probably use that for energy. Things like that. Um, I don't know what the bell does. We have the light. Don't know if that's important. But it's like these little trinkets that for some reason I feel like I need to hold on to and I need to like... It might be because we remember what life used to be like and it's like, oh, simple pleasures. But if I get into a situation where I need to use it for energy, maybe I will. And, uh, I'm intrigued. We had the... I think this is a young girl. We saw the picture of the... I think the dad earlier, so... Yeah, I'm intrigued, man. I think it's a good game. I, this is something that, um... I feel deserves, like, time and deserves patience and somebody that's willing to invest, um... a serious amount of effort into... to get the full enjoyment out of it, you know? And I like that. For me, this is really cool. I know it's not gonna be for everybody, I can tell, because it's slow. But, uh, it's very artistic and I think it's quite good. Um, it's available on Steam, GOG, I'll have links below if you guys want to check it out. But, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And, uh, this was the first, I guess, 45, 50 minutes or so of, uh, Far Lone Sales. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.